Hey, what's up guys? Here at the next job site, this is where we're gonna be starting this new barn dominium. And the excavator is tearing down this old house. This is um, the excavator that we've had for a long time. He's done a lot of work for us. And we built him his dream shop. So you can watch that build. But he's here now getting this house tore down so we can build a dream house for our next client. So I'm not gonna get in the way, but I wanted to stop by. I love watching houses get tore down. And uh, I wanted to see, just, you know, take a little bit of time watching it get, get done. And I wanted to show you guys too that this is what this is what is here currently. This is what's getting tore down. And this is where we're gonna be building the new house. I don't know if you're gonna hear the wind or not, but you probably can see that Greg is in winter clothes and I have my bibs on because it's cold today. It actually just started snowing. Yeah. Just a little bit of flurries and you probably won't pick them up in the video and it's not gonna to amount to anything. Oh, I just saw some more fly by. But we're starting our next project and this is going to be another barn dominium more closely representative to a home that most people would look to do and to be efficient in and you know spend the right amount of money to get the best details possible and efficiencies and uh, the pros that a post frame structure gives so we've got i don't know 20 some hundred square foot barn dominium here it's all one floor no basement we're here to start installing our midwest perma column brackets these are going to get dry set right on top of the concrete wall you'll see plumbing in the background because the plumber is here trying to get the underground done so that we can install you'll see over there that would be a rock wall so that is going to be the sub grade insulation and that is going to go underneath here you'll see over here this is like the main living uh kitchen two bedrooms garage here two car garage and then this is mechanical bathroom master suite over on this end we're going to do a build series on this it's going to be LP smart side exterior. We're going to have a standard metal roof. I'm telling you, this build is something that I think is going to be attainable for anybody to looking that's looking to build a modest, well-built, efficient home that can stand up to the elements. Uh, and I should have probably a windbreaker or something on because it's cold. But we're going to go ahead and get back to this. We're going to get these brackets installed. I hope that we've got better days ahead of us so that you guys can come along for the journey because this is really hard to film in right now. You might have just seen some snow hit me in the face. Good timing, we just showed up. Yesterday we got all of our brackets in 
And uh, the one thing we do kind of need is our columns. So unfortunately our columns aren't here. They had a problem with the nailer that laminates the columns. They should be here tomorrow. We got enough though to do today, cutting up all of our lumber, prepping it, and getting our brackets measured, getting ready for columns. So that's what we're gonna do. It is nice to see Miguel's here though with our load. All right, time to get the 350 out. And we're gonna go ahead and check grade on all of our brackets that we placed yesterday so that we can make sure that everything is installed on the perfect elevation. You know how it goes. There's always a little bit of ups and downs in the tops of your concrete walls. And Greg is over there and he's gonna start cutting up our wall girts while I go around and do the elevation on our brackets. So what I'm doing here is going around with the receiver on each one of these brackets. And I'm trying to check for the lowest area because where the lowest area on the wall is, that's where I want zero to be so that my floor is poured on the inside to that same height. I just set it right in the middle of the bracket. I ensure that the bubble here on the stick is right in the center. And then that's gonna give me the number here, which on this bracket was 3 8 And what that's saying is I need to take my receiver down 3 8 to hit the laser. That's why I like this receiver here, because it has that red bar along it. So it's telling you, as you move it up and down, it's picking up the laser, okay? So right now, I'm at 3 8 And if I go up, it says, no, 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 go back down, go back down and I can bring it back down. Well now, when I get into my bracket here, I can't go any further down, that's as far as it goes. So what that means is, I need to subtract 3 eighths of an inch from the top of my post. And you might be saying, well, doesn't that make your wall smaller? No, because right now, this concrete is just a hair up from zero. The bracket's a quarter inch, which means this concrete right here is an eighth of an inch higher than zero elevation, which is what I set with the laser. Now that I have all these marked, I can go ahead and tear down my laser. So typically I would take these numbers and start building the columns, but we can't do that because we don't have them. So I'll go ahead and start helping break down the lumber, get it cut up, and we'll be ready for tomorrow. <laughs> 